repetition coupled with constant attention. Knots strung together by hand forming a sea of recurring actions with horsehair. A half hitch closed up through the loop and an open hitch just under the string. With the help of a master hitcher, these actions are parlayed into exquisite designs filled with color and style and wedded to various Western paraphernalia that accentuates the art. Shoni Malding and her husband Ron have been creating this type of Western art for nearly 15 years and are eager to share it with whomever has an interest in the craft. Self-published with two how-to books on the market, the Maldings have taken horsehair hitching to new lengths. I look at hitched horsehair and I'm in awe of it because I'm amazed that something as basic as horse tail hair can be made into something so totally different and so beautiful. It's a real creative process and uh, by that it leans to just a satisfaction within. I've always appreciated Western art like Charlie Russell. Uh, my parents took us to museums when we were young and and Charlie Russell is, was then my favorite and still is, but I really didn't think of myself as, as an artist of any kind until I was in my 40s when I did learn how to hitch horse hair. Learning to hitch for Shoney was due in large part to her husband Ron, a former hobby director for the Montana State Prison at Deer Lodge, Montana. It uh, started about the turn of the century. Hitching horse hair was the first allowed hobby at Montana State Prison. And the reason being, uh, hitching takes a lot of time and it's a low security risk in that it doesn't require a lot of materials to do it. Through years of change, the hitching hobby was allowed to dwindle. Working with two seasoned inmates proficient in hitching, Ron revived the program in 1987 and in so doing brought back a technique that was quickly becoming a lost art form. We set up workshops and uh, classes during that time also we opened up a hobby store downtown in Deer Lodge to sell the inmates products and once they started selling the hitching just really took off. So I never did uh, become a, a proficient hitcher. I know how to do it, the basics, but uh, that's shown the end of it. Ron's my inspiration. You know, he believed that I could learn how to hitch horse hair, that I could write books on, on teaching people how to do it. It's great because of what he does with the silver, with the hitched horsehair, we've taken it into a whole other realm that hitched horsehair was never used in before, with um, inlaying the, the hitched inlays in silver instead of in the traditional way of doing leather. Starting usually with store-bought hair that is pre-sorted, Shoney carefully dyes the hair to very detailed specifications. The planning of the intended project then becomes one of utmost importance. I work off graph paper with everything. When I work off graph paper, I've got my pattern already set ahead of time. It's basically taking 10 or 11 tail hairs that are about 27 to 29 inches long and twisting those tail hairs together into what's called a pull. The pulls are knotted over nylon string, which is wound around a dowel. And the dowel actually gives it shape. So when I'm hitching, I'm actually hitching a tube. And when I'm completely done, I slide that tube off the dowel. If you're doing reins, you hitch over rope instead of a dowel, and the rope is left inside. So uh, it's actually a, a very simple process, requires very few uh, materials, and it is time intensive, but then pretty much any hand work that people do is time intensive. Working hand in hand with collaboration being the key, Shoney produces well-planned pieces that then are used as a catalyst for Ron's handiwork. Shoney will come up with a design for uh, like a bolo uh, or a bracelet or maybe a neck piece and by that then I'll know what uh, design I want to incorporate in the silver work. Tracing, hammering, sawing, buffing, and soldering hours on end spent in the shop, creating pieces that, when married together with horsehair meticulously knotted with patience and painstaking detail, become a piece of functional, collectible art. Then we did a, an old style head stall last year. We came up with a theme on that, and it was bear paws, and they were like grizzly bear, bear paws. So I came up with some uh, 
silver uh, formed bear paws and then on those bear paws we also uh, did some uh, stone work on them that we had picked up from uh, Horse Prairie in Montana and there were uh, Jasper and Agate and that's where uh, Sacagawea had led uh, Lewis and Clark through on their expedition to get the horses so there was a real significance to that piece. I want something that's not just functional but an art form. I, I could do really simple designs with the hitching and just crank it out a whole lot faster. But why? You know, if I can put really wow designs in something, I want to challenge myself and I want people out there to know that hitching can have really bold designs about it, can be really creative. I, I want both. I, I want it to work hand in hand with each other. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.